What's going on everybody? This is Tom from the OTB Network. We are going to be starting a new free to play series. Um, might as well, we just got the new update for the 6.0. Uh, right now the uh, empowerment um, is not live, but I have a feeling it will be by uh, reset time. So we're going to get this started now because uh, once the restart happens I'll be able to get my day 2 reward and get closer to um, getting our um, 4 piece set there for the lifesteal. So as we uh, progress through this uh, free to play I'm just going to play it regularly with uh, no restrictions or anything. Unless you have a recommendation, feel free to throw that into the comments and I can definitely give that a consideration. But mostly I'm just uh, doing this to um, just see how a brand new account will hold up with the uh, new empowerment. So I'm definitely going to be trying to go for those uh, soul zones uh, right away. And we'll uh, see how this pans out. So we're just going through the beginning. Once uh, we get past this, I will um, just basically switch right uh, over to when we pass the tutorial. And then uh, we'll continue on from there. Well, we're just gonna go through this dragon as he kills all of us. And then we'll have the option to uh, pick one of these characters. So I don't know about anybody else, but I always go with uh, Elhane. Uh, a lot of people uh, always go for Kale uh, because of mostly his poisons and that. But I find him overall, especially for grinding campaign and also even arena. Elhane is my little mini nuker. She does a fantastic job. Kale, uh, as soon as I ever used them in the past, I pretty much regretted it right away and kind of wished I went with Elhane. But Abdel um, is um, considered an S tier rare, so you cannot go wrong with picking her. And Gallic is not too bad himself. They're all pretty great champs in their own respect. But I, like I say, I always go for Elhane. She always has the attack as well as uh, a second hit if it's critical. Then attacks one enemies and then all enemies. And then places an increased crit rate on the champion for three turns. If the target is killed. Attacks all enemies two times. This is the skill that I really enjoy. And then of course the HP... Or, uh, so definitely choosing her. Do you always choose uh, Kale when you start a new one, or do you have your own favorite? Definitely throw it into the comments down below. And you always get Sniper right off at the beginning. So I said I was going to skip through this part, it's uh, quite quick, it's quite uh, annoying too, but people have never played before, you kind of introduction into how it's, it's played, the basic mechanics of it anyways. Boom, right to uh, times two and auto. Earlier, uh, since we did go live with the 6.0, I did uh, collect the X2 again and tried to see if there was an X3, but no, just that little sneak peek in that video is the last we'll probably see of that, at least for a while. I think they kind of want people to be in-game and playing it. Um, it's probably you get better scores or whatever. 
there's got to be a reason behind why we can't just uh, multi-skip through and not have to play through. Mm. Ah, enjoying a nice coffee. So, anyways, we'll go through this tutorial. It's very quick. I can just breeze through this quite quickly. Equip. Let's close. I've started so many new accounts that this is just second nature. And usually I just, um, it's almost like a re-rolling an account. And I'll play it for a little bit and I'll see what kind of characters I uh, snatch up. And whether they make it to the roster or whether I just kind of stop playing those accounts is entirely up to what champions I pull. Uh, throughout the weekend on my um, two videos where I had uh, some great luck with uh, my shard pulls. I was um, on my three main accounts. And then yesterday I posted one where I was just um, testing out to see if I can post everything and do everything strictly from my phone without needing my computer. As well as uh, just kind of put up my intro and see what kind of response I get from it. I'm gonna put it on the beginning of this video. Let me know what you think, if you have any opinions, whether uh, scrap it. I am trying to, trying to find a different kind of song to um, go through. But I picked one that just had some instrumental and not lyrics or anything, so that way a little bit of music until I find something that's appropriate. So we're past the tutorial part and since we're only like about three hours away from day two, it's gonna be pretty quick until I get my day two reward. And then we'll have our um, set getting going. I should be able to fill out my set before I get to day four just by doing campaign so at least I can get the lifesteal bonus active. So, push this, it's in my way of collecting my rewards. So I always try and coincide my um, missions with my challenges. That some of them will overlap each other. Depends on how far you get into your challenges with your missions. Sometimes you do have to go back and do previous uh, levels just to get through it. It sucks, but got to get through it if you want to get your Arbiter. Recently, I just got mine on my main account. And I've been playing for about two years off and on. And pretty much casual. I do play it a lot, but like I say, I have use multiple accounts and I have so much energy on so many accounts I just don't know what to do with don't have the time to burn through it so we're just kind of breezing through these um, let's change our name here let's call this let's see if we can do free to play six underscore zero okay next always pick uh, Lysandra she's been my main girl on my main account for quite a while now I'll sign up to play her MID once I'm off Well, before I log off, anyways. We're up to three. Let's go unlock her, lock her up. Boom. Yeah, so I'll do the Plarium play later on.
Let's get him up. Let's see who we got. No rare. Yeah, so there's the Altar of uh, Souls. Looking forward to that. I'm pretty sure it's going to be at reset time that that's going to go live. That is my assumption. And you know what they say about assumptions. It's the mother of all F-ups. And I'll click through that later. I won't put you guys through that. So like we said, uh, our first mission is to get up to the Claret Castle. Then our missions here. In, um, so as you can see, once going up through the Carrick Castle, it's going to help go towards these. And then I'll probably run through them again. That way um, the sewers of Arnak uh, mi um, missions will appear while I'm playing it. And then from there, I'm just going to push forward, kind of see how far I can get so I can at least up to speed gear. And that way I can uh, just grind up speed, speed gear and try and get some speed boots and stuff like that and level up. So, So I'm just going to skip through this part. I'm going to kind of run through this a few times and uh, collect those rewards. And I'll be right back.